So the video you're about to watch is two government officers trying to serve notices with, while being backed up by about eight to 10 police officers with an acting inspector there. Now you're gonna have to decide critically why is there a need for so much physical police presence to serve one man a notice to say that he has to pull down the structures and that he has to stop reciting um, on that part of alleged Crown land. So the man in the video is a friend of mine and he is only in his early 30s. He's learned quite a bit over the last 18 months and uh, he's standing in his truth and he knows what he's talking about and he's not alone. Um, there's a lot of people around the country like himself uh, doing the same thing and um, it's getting to the crux of uh, some serious issues that was that's, that's going on with the government that they want to sweep under the rug by getting everyone to vote yes for the voice. Now that will just continue the corruption that's going on and a lot of the um, nations and people from around Australia that don't really have much to do politically um, and don't have a voice, even through their own land councils, they get ignored. Um, they're taking this tact. So Luke uh, Jarbrum, as you, he says his name is on the video, he has issued his local municipal council, so the local council uh, documents that has been unrebutted, unrefuted. He's also served the land council, which is, say, um, the indigenous corporations of the area. And personally, I know because I've been there um, and while I was there, I'd also documented that we, um, we were cleaning up, we were looking after country. And I was a bit taken back because I couldn't believe that there are rangers and whatnot that are employed by the government, but um, the government and these uh, rangers don't actually do their job. So you wonder where that money's going. Um, and I don't see the harm in someone who's actually is legitimately practicing their culture um, on their country and they've got proof that that's their country from their direct bloodline descendants that are still alive, um, there's really no place for the government to becoming involved. And if the government is 100% honest about giving these people a voice, well, wouldn't you think that they would be listening to this man and what he has to say? But um, the authorised government officers um, being the big fat white guy and, and the guy behind him, um, the team leader, they are representatives of the crown. They are representing the, you know, the whole lot, the whole political sphere. So if Elbow's in power now, he's representing that government. Okay. There's just another department that comes under the Elbow government and they're not listening. They don't want to listen. So you've got to ask yourself, what is the voice about? And if you don't know what it's about, like I don't, I don't know the details. I know probably more than a little bit more than you, but I don't know all the details. And as I say, the devil's in the detail. I'm not going to vote yes for something that I don't know the details about. Or I don't know anything about. So it's going to be a no from me. Um, but we're going to follow up with uh, Luke with an interview. And we're also going to um, lead into some other interviews with some people that are in a similar situation as, as uh, Jarbrun, sorry. And um, and we're going to uh, try and educate um, the rest of Australia on um, what actually is going on the scenes and also learn a lot along the way about our Australian culture that we never um, were taught. And it's beautiful. It's very intricate. There's so many things to learn about it. Um, there's a lot of knowledge there, especially about the flora and fauna and the way things work. And... Um, yeah, it's a really beautiful culture. So, and it's our culture. It's all our culture. So it's here, and people they want to share it. Um, it's uh, it's the corrupt people that are working together behind the scenes that are trying to uh, fuck it all up for everybody. So we need to work behind the scenes together to unfuck it all. All right. So enjoy the video, and um, 
yeah, please leave any comments below and um, I'll I'll see if I can answer them for you. Thanks, bye. Yeah. Gorindula. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is an important message to keep Aboriginal people safe. Australians will be asked at this year's referendum, we're all in, we're all in. A lot of the communities, Albo, that uh, the voice is going to uh, seriously affect in the Territory and elsewhere in Australia, I'm talking about the Aboriginal communities, they don't have curtains, Albo, of anything. Uh, they don't have anything. The big black corporations, however, that you pump all the billions of dollars into every year, they've got curtains. I think they've even got deluxe shutters. A proposed law to alter the Constitution. I mean, who knows what's going on? I mean, I'm hearing whispers behind the scenes about uh, what's going on with this voice because I, I, I see that somebody's putting out information to say that the voice is actually a registered business yeah it is apparently it has an ABN. I mean, tell us what's going on there but johnny 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 the mainstream media and the governments are pushing it and that should tell all of us that it can't be in our best interest and i tell you what, there's a lot of people concerned about it look behind us yeah there they are there they are and that's just the tip of the iceberg and growing every day to not put this to a boat is to concede defeat. You only win when you run on the field and engage. And let me tell you, my government is engaged. We're all in. We're all in. Hi, sir. How are you? My name's Rob Robertson. I'm with Crown Lands, New South Wales. That's my identification. It says I'm an authorised officer. I need to tell you that I'm recording this, as you probably are. This is a body-worn camera. It's recording both video and audio of our conversation. Who else is also present with me is Craig Wood, who is also an authorised officer from Crown yeah. Land, and a number of police officers are here at our request uh, to prevent any potential breach of the peace. Yeah, do you guys know that, did you guys read, read the sign? So we're here Do you understand that I'm in a ceremony? So we're here because this particular area that you're, you're here and that these structures are on is actually Crown land. Says who? Uh, says the Government of New South Wales. Okay, can you provide some documents? I will. And I'll show you a copy of the deed. Uh, indeed, for this particular... Okay, procedure. please do. And please show me who allowed you and permitted you to... That, so, that allows us to be crowned there? Just keep starting this conversation off, I've identified myself. Could you tell me your name, please? It, do, it does. My name is Jarburn, yep. Yangabal. Right. That is my tribal name, yes. Okay. Uh, do you go by any other name, sir? No, I don't. I don't go under a fictitious government name. Have you previously been known as Luke Simpson? I have, yes. Mr. Simpson, I believe you spoke with... I'm not Mrs. Simpson. I'm not a title. I'm not a person. All right. You're not a person. No, I'm not at all a person. Right. If you guys were more acquainted with persons and legislations and acts, all right, your government consents is not what I consent to. You really need to become acquainted that legislations and acts require consent to be governed under. All right, 1788, you guys come here, your system come here, committed treason, highest crime of the Constitution. You hold no validity on this continent. This is Nyangabal country, I'm a bloodline descendant. All right, I'm a tribal bloodline descendant, you are taking part in ethnic claims. And who invited you guys out here? Sir, can I ask you... Who gave you permission? Here in this building who gave you permission to be out here? These police are here at my request. Because or, or who gave you permission? The government. And who I'm gave the government you, permission to be here? Authorised officer but who gave the government permission to be here from the very beginning? Who gave the government permission to be here from the very beginning? Well, that's maybe an argument you need to take up with the government. No, well, it is. I've already been the court. Yep. All right, there is a there is a precedence called the Elodia title, so, so we the original people. people it doesn't matter. It, it has got nothing to do up. with you. No, it right. does not. It has got nothing to do with you. You don't have any factual evidence. Come out here and try and remove my... I don't... So, sorry, I, what, I will not receive... That, I will not re take your paperwork, yeah, okay. because I do not consent to your paperwork. Jarbering. Okay, Jarbering. 
Okay, so Javon, my name's Craig Wood. I'm a group leader with Crown Lands, okay? I'm an authorised officer of the Crown Land Management Act. Okay. Oh. You, you asked me to give you some paperwork just to deal with the land here, okay? That there is a copy of the title. I do not take, I do not That's consent. Fine. I'll put it at your feet, mate, and you can read it when you want, okay? It'll be that going, it'll be going the, on the, the fire. Is owned by the state of New South Wales. Alright, you show me some deeds and titles that give you author authority. No, that, that is not deeds and titles. There is no treaty between the Crown and yeah. and the original no, people of this I'm continent. Alright, well this is okay. what the truth is. Yeah, We're here to speak the truth. Yep. This is the truth. Arts and legislations require consent to be governed. I do not consent, I, I don't consent. I'm not complicit in genocide. I, I give no I'm authority, not, you guys are trespassing. What, I'm can not I? asking you to consent. But you come out last time. And what's your name, sir? And yours? Yours, brother? And yours? Others? Can I get you guys' names? Sorry? Acting. And yours, brother? Constable Lee County. What was your name? Mine, Jabra. Jabra? What was your last name? Yangable. Yangable. Alright, so as I was explaining to you before you walked away from me. <laughs> taking part in a, a gathering assembly or meeting, or a meeting um, causing all dent. You, you are one. telling me to stop yes. practicing my culture. No, I'm not telling you to stop practicing your you, culture. You are, yes, I'm you are. You there are that certain is, things you cannot do on this pastoral No, day. there is. Oh, I'm practicing culture. Yep, again. There is a law in your constitution that says we have a right to practice culture out on our country. Yeah, and that may well be the case. I'm, I'm, and, well, you guys, and, you, and you and need to become more acquainted with it. If you're exercising your native title, right? It's not got fine. nothing to do with any government system. Use a, it's a, use a fraud. That's fine. Use a built on fraud. As I said, there's six things there that tells you you can't do them and they must stop immediately. The final thing I'll I don't do recognise your paperwork. They are rebutted and refuted. That's fine. Well, well, I, do, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't take them. them. I do not consent. They are going straight the on the fire. There's a field stop activity order. Okay, This is an order issued under section 9.19 of the Crown Land Management Act. Okay, and it requires that it stops a couple of unlawful activities. One is resigning on Crown Land. The other is erecting structures on Crown land or interfering um, with any substance forming part of Crown land. That means you can't dig, okay? The order here requires you by 5 p.m. on 30th of June to stop residing on Crown land, to remove all of the structures that we see here today, okay? And to cease interfering with any substance on Crown land, okay? With the exception um, of Order 3, which is to stop um, interfering with substances which must be compliant. Look, with brother, what you need to do is go back to, to your superiors and, and find out where the validation is for that legislation. I I'm on a mission to win while pissing the government off, so let's hit them again. They'll be running for courts. Adrenaline kicking, they're coming in. I bet you get ready then, so let's settle this. Like, gentlemen, which one of you constables is punchable? Start backpedaling, because I am backing down. And these fists are sedatives, they're going to lay you out. Waking up in a medicine bed. Concussed, you forget what I said. Attacked by a Kodiak, it's a friend and you're dead.